Don't get this from everybody. Look at that. Look at those golf oh, balls. This. So this is what I've been doing before each range session. I warm up my limbs, my very long limbs, and then I'll just try and pick a few off the mat. We're going between the um, 150 yard marker and the Castle Hill sign. Okay. Nice. This is um, one of the areas which has improved massively and I think hence why I've been having a lot more putts inside 20 feet for birdie. Yeah. Like yesterday I had a lot of 58s, 54s and 50s into greens. Um, and being a lot shallower I'm able to control the ball a lot more. Yeah, I think your, your dynamic loft is going to be easier to control. It's a little bit more sort of passive coming through. And then also just that. That room of error for strike is just that little bit, that little bit bigger. So I still like that that sort of down zippy one occasionally when you really need to. Yeah, to there stop was a play. Uh, I can't remember which hole it was on yesterday. I played that shot. I thought, let's just try and get steep on one. I find it harder now to do that than yeah. I do actually get it up in the air. <coughs> but well, that's nice. Ball position's nice, and the angles look much better. You don't look anywhere near as much kind of left, left sided. So yeah, look at that there. So you've got your attack angle on that. With a 4.9 or 58, and you were nines with eight iron? With an eight iron, yeah. <laughs> this, I'm it's a not, little I'm different, not, isn't it? I'm not even it's trying to really. That was, it. yeah, we pushed that iron. That's all. Nice, buddy. Lovely. Love the sound Ooh. of that. Oh, the strikes. Like I was saying, especially with the long irons, <coughs> to actually strike a long iron without hitting the mat afterwards yeah, yeah. is just the most incredible feeling mm. that I thought I was striking it and obviously because I've been doing it for so long I wasn't a bit left to right wind now just yeah. pushing just Shuffle. leaking it that way a little bit but again nice four and a half on attack angle pass nice and straight just left the blade a little open on that And have you had any tendencies miss-wise, like a good shot? With this distance, no. No? Cool? No, not at all. To be honest, everything is just, you know, dead at target. If anything, I've been hitting a little draw. Yeah. Um, and it's <laughs> strange going back to actually seeing aiming it. right. Yeah, seeing it that way. And now it goes to the point where I try and hit a fade. That's the problem. I can't now hit a fade to save my life. That's where a couple of the destructive shots have come from. On 12 yesterday up the hill, aimed left tree line, tried to hit the fade, got quick in it and flipped it back. So that's where the destructive shots are coming from. But yeah. I didn't have that once um, through nine holes yesterday. I, I shot one under through those first nine. I didn't even play that well. Like, it was just plodding. Yeah. What have you moved to there, but? Eight nine. That path's lovely and consistent. You just hit three and within a within a debris of each other. Just hit hit one where you feel even a touch more, touch more clippy. Just maybe feel like so just like I, I feel like I can go more. I'm not even with those first. Just swinging it. Yeah, just that's swinging. great. Little okay, good attack angle. Well done. So that's great. And that's what I was saying earlier before we started. Even even if you like missing target occasionally. Your developing feel, you just tried then. I didn't give you any technical data on how to make your attack angle better. You've just you've just done that and you've you've knocked it down a degree. And you know how that feels. So even if it doesn't hit target, it's it's developing your tools, your arsenal. <laughs> Such a consistent draw now that yeah. how that's changed from Okay, good attack angle, nice. Pass good. So nothing's more than 10 yards offline there. And it's now, last time, because you were really kind of there, you were used to going here yeah. and holding, then we kind of got the path out, but we just occasionally were still on that release sort of pattern. And now I'm playing for and now you're playing I'm confident for it. to hit it, basically. But what's, what, again, this is what we kind of, we touched on last time. You're hitting a draw with your natural path and hitting that, hitting that draw golf shot. Um, you're not aiming right, starting it right and, and drawing it back to target. You're aiming at target. 
and then pushing it out right. You're hitting a shot that's starting right at target and moving right to left. So you are hit. That's that's your draw. So try not to get into that mindset of if you want to draw it, you need to aim right because you're I'm not doing that naturally. You're, you're hitting. You're hitting slightly right at target, and then the face is slightly left of your path. Top half three point six face angle zero. That is a, that's a that's a draw. It might just overturn, but it's it's starting right at target and finishing maybe just left of target. Problem is, you start aiming right, then I think you start to kind of then start feeling maybe coming over the top, and then attack angle gets steeper, yeah. or you've got to flip it more. It starts to be yeah, it starts to become a bit a bit more violent. Good attack angle, good path. Maybe just overturn, just a smidge Touch. again. Started straight, just turned off. It's ten yards. It's yeah. a ten yard. It's a ten yard miss. Still hitting the dance floor. No, that was a good yeah. one. That was that. I mean, not major, but it just felt a little bit too quick from the top. Okay. Uh, good attack angle, good path. Face one and a half degrees left the target. So as we said. Ball starts where the face is pointing, so that's going to start left. That needed to be 1.5 in the other way. Yeah. Exactly. What would you say is the first thing, if that happened, in setup, so pre-golf shot, what's the first thing you think you'd, you'd check? as like a little checklist. If you were going to the doctors and you've, you've got a bad toe. What was the first thing that I'd check if it was going left? What could it be? I think of like kind oh. of an out. Club, like we were saying last time, club face dictates 90% of where it goes, right? Yeah. So maybe grip. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Right hand is good. Left hand is strong. Left hand looks like you've got more knuckles and a wife from Red Roof. Okay. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that is kind of one thing I've been working on. I feel recently it's it has just started to creep back. So I, that would be, that one would be my alarm bell, look at the left hand. And I don't yeah. think that I'm, I'm kind of un, under the opinion, if it's not causing anything, it doesn't matter. For God's sake, it. don't touch it. <laughs> Okay, yeah. cool. So we've got similar attack angle, similar path, Straight face shot. a little bit further right than we've had it. That was your perfect draw. So it's nice. Man yeah, that is literally bang on, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just managing that basically. Mm. In fact, that face angle is now even slightly too far, isn't it? Uh, well, I, it's hit target, so yeah. no, that's good. Um, and I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that the grip's quite organic. It, sometimes you might actually feel like you've got to do that. Sometimes you might not need to do it. But knowing how you can subtly change that ball flight with grip yeah. is huge. Quick on your rhythm, so just mistimed. Yeah, it's, it's thin, thin, so it's not come back a bit. Numbers are good. Good attack angle, good path. Good face. Yeah, it's, it's all there. It's just a little, a little rushed in the... In that transition from top to bottom is all I would say. Try one where I just, out of interest, just pause at the top. Okay. Because that's I, I I don't know whether you think it's a good idea, but I just think it's something to work on because that is one thing which needs to be worked on is the rhythm and tempo. It's a little violent sometimes, it is, isn't it? It's is so violent, and when what happens, I get to there, and if I get violent, that leg comes up. I've got no room. Start to like get there, and that's where all like the I think the big misses as well. That doesn't help. Yeah. Whereas I feel if I just pause there. Yeah, just finish it. Just finish the move. Similar path, similar attack angle. Just a little hooky. Yeah. It was it was more of a pause than you would take to the golf course. Yeah. yeah. As a as a drill to kind of get a feel. Yeah, I was thinking of like doing like three shots like that and then hit six. Yeah. Fine. That no. feels, if that feels comfortable, leave that up to you, my boot. Have a little look. Okay, so those numbers are with eight iron. Oh, okay. Yes, so I've gone for this. I've set up a track band account as well, by the way. Oh, lovely. So you can send me, I don't know if you're able to do that, just send it through. Yeah. So yeah, one, 180, 180 average carry, one, pretty much 180 and 180, it's stopping yeah. nice and quick. That was the couple of shots here with 58. 
which was nice. That attack angle is just much more consistent. It's not jumping around. It's a couple of degrees here and there. And that was your eight iron, okay. um, where you just got your, your hands a little bit more on top of the grip. Um, can you remember Dynamic Loft where we were last session? <laughs> eight iron was like 19, yeah, it was, like was fifth, it? It's was right, it? jumping between sort of 15 and 19. And we're now in the 20, yeah, 23, 23. So much, much nicer. Yeah. And that's nice, nice. Again, reasonably consistent spins, whereas you're jumping around in spins previously. Yeah. Yeah, it's going up to like 9,000 and going down to like six all over exactly. the place. So with that right hand a little bit more on top, you've got an average path that's four to the right, so okay. in, two out, and the face that's also right at target, so one and a half degrees right at target. Average previously, still right with the path, face a little left of target, so that would miss left. It wouldn't miss by much, miss by about 10 yards. Okay. But as the clubs get bigger, and we present those sorts that of numbers, becomes more, that starts to become more and prevalent. I, I think that grip is definitely where the dry, the, the big driver miss comes from then, I okay. reckon. Should we try hitting the, some with the driver? Yeah, grab it. Take path right, attack angle plus, which is good. Okay. Face right of path, so push slice. Quick. Shit swing, yeah. yeah, a bit quick. Path right, attack angle up. I have a feeling uh, something going Face on with, sh with strike here as well. Yeah. Yeah. What did that feel like? Was that. Oh, I've almost missed it. Thin heel. heel. Almost missed it. Almost missed it. Thing. I, I feel like <laughs> when I try and hit a draw and I aim right, I have a tendency to want to hit it off the toe because I'm afraid that it's not going to come back. Yeah. I subconsciously hit it off the toe, but I don't need to. No. The good ones, where I actually strike it, I almost feel like I'm hitting it slightly more towards the heel, but with the draw swing, and then I get a perfect draw. So I'm almost like afraid of starting it right and it going right. It's, it's, so it's, it's, it's developing this feel with this driver, isn't it? Yeah. Um, give me a try in two seconds. Good test for the rest of always, first. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, you should bring my spray up to have a little. Uh, that one, by the way, has, has gone 290 and it's about an inch right of the centre of the fairway. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I wouldn't poo poo it too much. <laughs> oh. Okay, good. So, it's, it's, it's a hook. Why is it hook? Attack angle, best attack angle today. Strike. Bang on. Pretty good. Face is, face is neutral, so it's starting straight with a bit of right to left curvature. It's not miles off, but um, I'd like to see it a little bit more that way. A little bit more. It is strange that the, the you know with the driver, like surely the longer club should be more into out. Yeah, should be. Is, is that, that right? knee-jerk reaction for you to come this way to kind of try and get it on the fairway? And does that come from more speed with a longer club, and then it gets that? Yeah, probably. And as you just said, you're scared of the right miss, so you're not committing to Sending hit. Well, give me a four right. Give me a four right, and give me a four right, four up. Five seven right. Face one and a half right, dead straight. Two nine four three twelve. Better. That's better. Just committing to that, the, 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 100%. it's, I mean, I can't remember the last time I missed a fairway right with the driver, <laughs> yet when I get on the golf course, I still struggle to stand over it and tell myself to send it out right. It's so difficult. So difficult. I feel like you could set, just set yourself to hit up a bit more as well, so I feel like maybe you're just a little bit more right-sided, okay. get that head just a touch more back. Best so far. Four right, one two up. So straight away okay. we're getting that attack angle a little bit better. I can't believe how much better the numbers are after just like two weeks. Yeah. Strike. Little toe of anything? Yeah, top toe. Just. Nice. Gee, I'm hitting up on it. <laughs> that was un that was unthinkable like <laughs> two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Well, we four down and a couple left, weren't we? Yeah. Down and left. Yeah. With face left as well. Yeah. Dangerous. Dangerous prime. Fine. 
a little hooky, but it's it's hooky with some with some ideas. Yeah. It's not. It's like, as soon as you get hooky with that one that was left, game that's over. the game over one. That is 15 yards left to target because you're trying to get it out that way. It feels so much more natural to hit a draw. Like, and the more I look back at changing to a fade, I mean, I played golf for 10 years mm. just hitting a draw, like the whole time. Pretty much. I mean, I could hit fades, and like yeah. say, if I'm and I don't want you to, we don't want you to lose the lose the fake golf shots. So I think we'll definitely spend a session as well playing around with shapes of shots. That's yeah. definitely in, imperative. But as I, I keep on reiterating, going back to it, your best golf shots are just when you yeah, I don't, yeah. monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> you see what you've got to do with it, and you do it. Yeah. Where, and we're kind of getting back to that feel with this. Well, my 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 greens have gone up like. Over the past five rounds, I'm starting to hit more than 10, 11 greens again, about that sort of area. Whereas yeah. before it was down to like five, literally, because a lot of them would be missed long left because I'm trying to hit this fade, which is a completely unnatural shot for me. Mm. Got bomb that one, man. Give me, a, give me an up and out one. Up and out one to finish on. Love it. Love it. Picked up everything. A bean, but it's a great golf shot. Two nine three three. Absolutely plain down the line. Perfect. Sorted. It's good. We're not. Oh, they still be quite sorted yet. But <laughs> well, that's better. We're on the road. We're on the road, fam. So club path average three point four out. Tack angle zero point nine up with the driver. Um, so you're hitting up yeah. with your driver. Dynamic loft eleven point nine, which is it's decent. Miles better. Yeah. I mean, if we get rid of that one golf shot. Flippy one there, and if you look at that as a as a dispersion sort of thing, how much better is that? Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing more than ten yards offline. So I mean, it is where the destructive ones are coming with the driver is just because I'm not confident enough sending it out right on the exactly. golf course, basically. Exactly. Simple as that. Very good, sir. Cheers, bye. Awesome. No problem. Go and eat some chippy chips. I'm gonna go and have some. And I'll see you in a little bitty bit. So that was my lesson from yesterday and as we can see there's a lot better data coming through on TrackMan now. I'm a lot shallower through the golf ball, my face in relation to path is a lot better. Um, and the swing's feeling better in general. I'm going out on the golf course, I'm having stretches of holes where I'll hit like nine greens in a row and I'll have birdie putts all within sort of 25 feet and you know playing stretches of holes under par um, but I'm still having those one or two holes, maybe three holes. Um, which are really destructive and I don't think that's down any more to the golf swing uh, than it is the head to be honest. Now soon I'll be starting a new series called Breaking Par. It will be me going out on the golf course. I won't be talking to the camera but I will be voiceovering the round of golf afterwards. Now the goal with this series will be just to start shooting under par on a regular basis and then once I start shooting more under par rounds than I do over par rounds that's when I start playing tournament golf again uh, knowing that I'm in a good position to move forward and actually have a chance of winning tournaments. So that's the goals for now, continue to work on my game, continue to work on the golf swing, moving forward, things are moving in a really good direction now, I'm feeling a lot more at home on the golf course with my swing which feels more like my natural swing in the way I've swung the golf club my entire life. Those destructive holes have got to go that's the main thing I'm going to be focusing on over the next um, over the next couple of weeks. So here's some practice putting footage for you. Um, what I was practicing today was hitting just putts from eight feet around a circle, um, going through my routine and just getting a feel for holding these putts and really visualizing going into the hole. <laughs> Not that I did very well at it today. Um, I gave myself a slightly tricky putt and my stroke didn't feel didn't feel great. But see, the thing is, is now that I'm hitting more greens in closer proximity to the hole. I'm having in between sort of five to 20 foot, 25 foot birdie putts. Um, whereas before I'd be missing greens, chipping it to three or four feet and having uh, par putts from that distance, which I got relatively good at. My putting inside five foot, I've always regarded as pretty good. 
but it's those slightly longer putts now, which I now have for birdie, which I've got to start holding to be able to get myself three, four, five, six, seven under par, rather than having the part, you know, the three or four foot putts to, to save par. So I went around eight, eight foot putts, um, did this several times. I was there for about an hour, um, just making sure that I'm sticking to my routine, visualizing the ball rolling into the hole at, the, at a nice speed. Um, and then I went to just focusing on strikes. So here I actually hit eight putts hold all of them in a row, um, just focusing on strikes. So I had a T the side of my putter and making sure that I keep my head down on the first two putts and the last putt, I forgot to do it, but I drained all eight of them, which was a great feeling. It felt solid. Um, yeah. So my game is feeling really, really good at the moment. I don't think it's that far away until I start shooting under par on a regular basis again. It's, it's getting close and all it takes is that one round to get that feeling back. And once I remember that, I have no doubt that I'll start, um, start playing well again which I'm excited for. Um, yeah, everything's looking good. Lots of positive feedback from the people around me as well, uh, that things are moving in the right direction, which is always good. Thank you all for the positive feedback and all the support. Remember to like the video, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all very soon. <laughs>